Hey y'all, it's the Appalachian Gunrunner. Today I thought we'd take a look at what you're gonna need if you plan on attaching an original Colt SP1 upper to a modern spec lower like this Brown S Retro, why you need it, how it works, and where to pick one up. If you plan to attach an original Colt SP1 upper to a lower that has a modern front pin spec like this Brownells Retro, you're going to need to pick up an adapter bushing like this one. You can see it's thicker on one side than the other. It's not perfectly centered, but that's how it's supposed to be. The reason for this is Colt in their infinite wisdom decided to make the SP1 a proprietary pin size that's larger than a standard mill spec that all ARs use today. If you try to drop this upper on a modern lower without the bushing, it won't fit. The, the play is you can see there's tons of play. So what I did was go to ar15sport.com and I picked up my adapter bushing. They shipped the same day and even refunded the shipping difference. The bushing will sit in the receiver like that. And we'll take up the slack, allowing you to use a lower with a modern front pin spec. You can see now with the adapter bushing installed, there's really no play compared to how it was earlier. Anyways, this is the Appalachian Gun Runner, and I figured we'd take a look at how you can drop a, an original Colt SB1 upper onto a modern spec lower. I'll catch you next time.